Hello, it's me, Shrewboy313. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Uh, in the last episode, we... Did we finish up... Oh yeah, we already picked up that quest. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah... Oh, I don't remember what we did, but we made it here to Hotter and we got told to go see Miko. Uh, was there any... <laughs> yeah, we've picked up a shed load of quests that we can just sort of, like, go around the world and do. And there's a few more in Gondoli. Ah, and do any of them want to be done here in Hotto, Zvadstrust, Sniffelheim, Equipment for Stylish, the Cryptic- Ooh, we could go- right. Yeah, some like it Hotto, Miss Mam wants something from Mount Huji. But also, since we're here, I'm gonna- we're gonna pop into the Cryptic Crypt to pick up that stuff. Also, um... The Diva's leveled up some, so um, let's go use some fun things. And by fun things, I mean skill points. I'll give the hero strength, just straight up strength. Uh, Sylvando has thirty. I don't know. I don't know what I want to give to Sylvando. What though? That's whips. That's lightness, and that's showmanship. Um, see, like I could get him. What is it? No, I wanted worm whip. What am I saying? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I think I was, I'm just gonna like, work my way around showmanship, to be honest. And Rab, I think, I might be making this up, I think I was working on like, connecting these, I think. <laughs> so I mean, I'll, oh, not enough skill points, never mind, I'll work my way up, and then around, I think. Oh, hold on, Hendrik. <laughs> Uh, heroism- no, no, heroism's up there. Wait, what was this? Pep power up. Yes. Yes, I was gonna get Falcon Slash, so then, like, these two hidden panels could unlock. Right, no, that's fine. Right. I'm sorted out, never mind. Yeah, uh, we got told, I think it was this man, to head up to Miko's shrine for the story here. But, like I say, I wanna head into the cryptic crypt. Why am I running? I can just zoom. Where is it? The Hotto Step Camp site, there we go. Yeah, to get that perfume for... Fatilda, whatever her name was. <laughs> hey, do you want to know something fun? So, um, I just recorded this entire episode, um, but for some reason only those first two minutes seem to record. Like, I recorded the entire thing, went to look in my files, there was one file of about two and a half minutes, so, um... I'm not best pleased. <laughs> like, I fully, like, I finished this quest for, like, I just asked what that zombie girl's name was. It's Malodorin. I know this because I've literally just gone and spoken to her. Oh, <laughs> like, in the recording that doesn't exist I mean, anymore. I say anymore. Like, apparently didn't exist in the bloody first place. It was a good thing I didn't save at all during the, during the video. Otherwise, I would not. <laughs> I would have just had a massive chunk missing. So, um, yeah. Like, <laughs> normally I, like, I'm, I, like, I know which walking cop, like, these are all, like, Malodorin's family, those walking corpses. <laughs> and yeah, because, like, I've already done this, I know the exact path and where I'm going. <laughs> it's so annoying. I mean, it's more frustrating than anything. Yeah, that first one was Malodorin's uncle. That was that's her grandfather. And I'll be honest, I just ignored all of the other ones. <laughs> Look, it has annoyed me. I am annoyed. <laughs> yeah, and this one is Malodorin's father. There we go. Malodorin Delamog's father, Fatid. And he says that basically she's at a delicate age. Cool, we've picked that up, but I will say I'm gonna do exactly what I did in the recording that never was, apparently. <laughs> like, I'm gonna head into Mount Huji and get the stuff, the brimstone for that lady up in Hotto. So yeah, this video might end up being a little bit of a shorter one just because I'm like, speed running through everything because I've already done it once. <laughs> and like I say, that has annoyed me. Right, so... Hotto? Yes, I think... I, I don't think I ever went into what's a sale? What's herself? Yes, and by what's herself I do in fact mean Miko's Shrine. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying because like, 
uh, was it? Not the lineup character builder. Like, everyone leveled up. Could I afford- oh, I can afford that. Yeah, let me grab that. Oh, I've got to do all of this again. <laughs> like, I got Worm Whip as well. Yeah, Rab and Hendrick leveled up and I got stuff for them as well. So it's annoying, but hey, we'll survive. It's, like I say, it's not the end of the world and it was only one episode, like 20 odd minutes that died. must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw. He ran for his life. Another foe and suffered this harm. A great fire dragon. Tatsunaga the terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. Sure. I greet your kind words as the step in high summer greets the falling. First to the west, you will find a mountain path. There the monster waits. Oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls. Okay, work. Yeah, see, I'm paranoid now. <laughs> Like, I want to make sure that everything's recording. <laughs> anyway, off we go. Let's make a beeline to Mount Huji now. <laughs> I See, even everything that I said before, like, I'm just going to be repeating myself, which is irritating. <laughs> Yeah, so like, from when I went in there before, there were like, three new enemies. There was uh, a lava lampling, which is obviously what we have to fight to get the fiery brimstone for the Lady in Hotto. Uh, there was a, I think it was a slick slime, which is a red bubble slime, and then like a red professorus, whatever it was called. Huh? Um, was it something? 
anything I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? This is all your fault, Atsuko. Now we are in trouble. Shut up, Atsuko. If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess. Much for our big scary monster. It's just a couple of little ones. You surprised us, darlings. Foolish children. What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? No, we never meant it. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so. And they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. Hmm. <sighs> we have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> work um i will say I, oh wait no yes i did i was about to say i didn't look down that exit but i literally did because at one point i had to exit <laughs> right yeah i also commented how of course there would be lava lumps there we are at a volcano it just makes sense tee hee hee <laughs> and yes it was no it wasn't with that exact tone and inflection who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred, or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. Human sacrifice? Oh my, this right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life. So we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. A noble cause indeed. 
I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No, do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. Her mother also. She hides the secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? Certainly sounds like something fishes her feet. Maybe the lad is right. They can't hurt to take a look, at least. You will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness, the volcano's heart. Slight. Um, was there anything in here? Oh, no, work. The door's just there. Oh, there's a tockle. Okay, I'll admit, I fully missed that tockle last time. <laughs> like, I guess because it was red and by the candle, I just completely missed it. Hey, well, there we go. <laughs> there we go, there's something that I missed last time. <laughs> I mean, I guess in that, I guess it's good that the recording failed. Some positives have come out with it. Like, <laughs> huzzah, I suppose. Right, anyway, um, I, I'll, you know what, I'll just do exactly what I did last time. I'll get into a fight with this series of lamplings, because there should be five of them. Oh, well, four. Oh, hey, well, at least I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to have to fight the slick slimes anymore. Like, when y'all are done hyping each other up. Very much the new jeans hype boy tease. <laughs> Cause like, the quest thing literally just did say beat up enough lamplings and you'll get a brimstone thing, so um... Good luck to me, I suppose. Let's hope these four will be enough. Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's them leveled up again. I think with Rab, I was, yeah, I was just going to like link up these two things. Whoops. There we go. And some more magical might. And then on Hendrik, where is it? It was, yeah, Falcon Slash I got, which unlocked these. One of which is Griff Falcon Slash, and the other one is like six hits instead of like two and I remember saying hey look do you want either two hits four hits or six hits that is exactly what I said <laughs> anyway there's the brimstone some slimes drop down here yep see <laughs> look I've already done it and then I fought this whatever this was and there was also a lampling and a slick slime alongside it oh balls there's two of them well, oh, the evangelist. Oh, I should have healed. Oopsie. But yeah, that's its name, the evangelist. Very ten televangelism, Ethel Kane core vibes. <laughs> anyway, since I know why we're in here, like, I'm happy to just, uh, yeah. I'm happy to just, like, go all out on the offensive like I don't mind. I truly don't. <laughs> oh, oopsie, I should have used Dragon Slash. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we can just... Yeah, we can just attack normally. It's fine. It can't have that much health left if we're being real. There we go. Ta-da. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else in here. No. Okay, yep. Oh, and I also pointed out there's like a hole. What is it? 
a maze in there. Yeah, when I was walking through, I had the brainwave of, I'm sure that there's a maze in Mount Huji. And there literally is. A dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. Path leads nowhere. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... Oh! 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 What in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Down there! Look! Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Right, and I will say, on my original, in the original, you know, thing, video, I did use this time to go and hand in those quests, but I think instead I'm just gonna, like, straight up, yeah, straight up, just, like, go back to Miko's shrine instead. We can hand the quests in another time, we can do it in the next episode, it's not the end of the world. Ta-da, we're back. I mean, realistically, we could go hand in the brimstone one, but, I mean, it's on the other side of the village. <laughs> and call me Rachel, because I'm lazy at the moment and don't want to hand it in. <laughs> Literally. I do not wish to right now, thank you. I'd rather just go see Miko, and I'm pretty sure I remember how this little, like, quest line finishes, I think. Since he speaks, Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No, the creature lives. It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. <sighs> you lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward. You could not have passed. Ha! I am the beast. The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister. We took our mother, and sought to keep you from her, with a bold disguise. Idiot children! Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage! Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices, you seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of Ryu, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices. Can 
it truly be? The dragon's death a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him. And paid with his life. Now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her! I see through your web of lies. Accursed spider! <sighs> Um, am I going crazy or is Tatsunaga just going to be in? Ta oh, I was going to say I didn't even get time. Tatsunaga! Baby, what are you going to do with a tiny little crossbow like that? Okay, I work. Again. Stop! Stay your weapons! Though this may seem a dragon, it is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko! Sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Okay, bye. <laughs> God. What, like right now? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Right. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna fight Tatsunaga in the next episode. <laughs> so, um. Thank you for watching, feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd really like to, and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>